everybody in recovery is going to identify to this video 100 percent. you know why because no one in recovery or no one in this world is perfect and we've all made mistakes that we feel bad about especially in recovery okay haven't you made a lot of mistakes i've made tons of mistakes that i felt very bad about and when we're in recovery we feel worse because we feel the sting of it because all of us i think all of us anyways are trying to be better people aren't we in our relationships our work relationships our love relationships every area of our life we're trying to improve it how we handle things right but sometimes i don't know about you but sometimes we screw up don't we we really do screw up right not enough sleep you know you wake up you're stressed out you take it out on the wife or your boyfriend whoever it may be you say things that you regret you never you ever done that before of course you have right we've all done that you know we do things to loved ones friends people at work that we just regret and we do it out of anger you know we do it for all kinds of reasons jealousy whatever it may be whatever your character defects are or whatever is going on with you right we do those things but uh, there's another thing we do and it's not just out recovering alcoholics do it we take out this invisible baseball bat and we start pounding ourselves for the mistakes we've made you know i shouldn't have told that guy to f off at work you know maybe i'm gonna lose my job and we go into this negative mode that we're helpless we're hopeless we're we're victims we're we'll never get it right we'll never be perfect by the way no one will ever be perfect anyways we go into that mode we go into that self-loathing state and we stay there and you know what the problem with that is you know what the problem with that is is this if we go into that self-loathing state into that victim state you know like we're never going to get it right we're never going to be perfect. We, you know, I, my anger is out of control again. I need to do something about my anger. I need to get rid of my white to make my left, my, my life more or less stressful. If we go into that mode, we don't learn nothing. We're not learning nothing. And the reason we're not learning anything, because we're making it all about ourselves. We're making it all about ourselves. And because we don't, we make it all about ourselves. We're leaving out all the valuable information. We really are. Why did you get mad at the boss or the person at work? Maybe because you didn't get sleep. Maybe you have a young baby crying all night and you were stressed out. That's a pretty good reason. Like, I'm not saying it's a good reason to get mad at anybody, but it is. It can add to it, right? So if we just step back a little bit, get out of our own way and look at what's going on in our lives and think about the situation more than feel about it or get hung up on our feelings or we're not doing right or we're just one big bloody failure we can look at things sensibly look at things logically maybe there's a childhood issue you need to deal with those kind of things you can look at things sensibly and do something about it or maybe there's nothing to do about it maybe you just go home and have a good night's sleep or maybe you go back to work and apologize or maybe you sit down with your wife and have a talk and tell her you're stressed out at work, something's going on. Let them know. And what that does is this. It creates a sense of learning. You're learning how to be a better person. You really are. You're learning, you're taking responsibility, but you're learning from the situation. So maybe you're working too hard. Or maybe you should leave an hour or a half from a 15 minutes earlier to work for you're not so stressed out going down the parkway and you want to give the guy the finger because you're tired and you're stressed. There's all kinds of things going on. But if we get into self-loathing, if we get into that self-centeredness, we're not learning from it. We're not. We're making it all about us, all about our emotions, all about everything about us. But we affect other people in our behavior. We're affecting others. And we need to think about that and understand that it's not all about us. We live in a world with lots and lots of people, but we can't learn if we're not open and just to let it go and look at, look around us, how it's affecting other people and learn from it. You know, a problem is just an opportunity in disguise. 
It okay. really is. So and I've been doing it. This is kind of a long video, I think, isn't it? It's kind of long. I'm cold. I, I'm in, I have no gloves on. It's snowing out. You can see I'm in the cottage, uh, in my uh, after off the grid cottage. But I just want to say, I, you know, it's a very interesting topic. It's like, it's like the opposite that we're used to, right? We're used to pounding on ourselves for some reason to make ourselves feel better because we're punishing ourselves for behavior that we know is no good. The thinking that it's going to make us better, but it doesn't make you better. It just makes you worse, makes you depressed, unhappy, and you feel like a loser even more. Okay. My name is Terry G. This is an, un I was going to say untwisted voice. That was the old name. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. But just remember, sobriety is freedom. It really is. Okay. Ciao for now. Oh, yeah. Subscribe, okay? Ciao, bye.